What's up guys, my name is Gabe and welcome into the Trojan Blade. We have some big breaking news here as USC has hired North Dakota State head coach Matt Enns to be the new linebacker coach. Now normally I wouldn't be doing a whole video for a position coach hire, but in this case getting one of the top head coaches in all of FCS, a guy that's been coach of the year twice, a guy that's won two national titles, I mean this really is a big time hire. And more importantly it shows to both recruits and players in the transfer portal that we are taking defense very very seriously. There's no way this hire was cheap. This was not the easy hire. I don't believe this was a Rolodex hire. I haven't really done a deep dive yet, but I haven't seen any instant connections between Lincoln or Danton Lynn. Of course, with this news, you would figure that current USC linebacker coach Brian Odom would be gone. And absolutely nothing personal against Coach Odom, but that's a move that needed to happen. Just look at our linebackers last year. That was not all on Grinch. That was by far our worst unit, our worst coach unit, our worst prepared unit. Mason Cobb came in and looked like he had never played a down football in his entire life. And Cobb has his deficiencies as a player, especially as a tackler. But for him to look as lost as he was, that just doesn't make any sense. So a change had to happen and boy, a big change happened. Now, obviously this won't be a long-term hire, bringing in a guy who was a head coach. He's obviously trying to make the transition to end up being a power five head coach one day. So if USC's linebackers play well over the next two years, I would assume he's gonna be gone. But still, this is a big time hire that had to happen. And honestly, as far as position coaches go, this is a home run. And this is pretty interesting because North Dakota State is currently in the playoffs. So I'm curious to see if he'll keep coaching there. This is such a massively important time for recruiting, obviously, and the transfer portal. You would have to think that he would be coming over immediately. He's supposedly having a meeting with his team right now at North Dakota State, letting them know that he is leaving for USC. I would hope and expect that he does come over immediately. Again, too important of a time to not have your coaches on staff. But again, the biggest, biggest point out of all of this. Well, actually, there's a couple things. First is the commitment from the administration. Lincoln is getting a lot of money at his disposal, not necessarily for high school kids or in the NIL world, but for staff additions and obviously the new facilities that are gonna get built. There's a lot of investment in this program right now. But the second thing is Lincoln and Coach Lynn going out and getting this guy. I said it earlier, but this shows to everyone how serious we really are. At the end of this last year, Lincoln was embarrassed. Lincoln was left without answers. And what he's shown us so far through this offseason is that he's not taking any shortcuts. He's not pulling any punches. We are getting serious about fixing this USC defense. The opportunity that was squandered this last year will go down in history. 20 years from now, we'll be talking about what if Caleb Williams had a defense. The sting of that isn't going away. But to me, I'm obviously not in that building. I don't have conversations with Lincoln. But to me, this, along with the comments he made about defense first, doing everything he can to help the defense, that to me says we are absolutely done messing around. We're done doing things the way we did them, and we're going to attack this until we get it right. And obviously, as a USC fan, that right there is as exciting as any player will bring in this entire offseason. So to recap, USC hires North Dakota State head coach Matt Enns to be the new linebacker coach. We assume that Coach Odom is gone. I haven't seen that anywhere yet. Just a logical assumption. This is a guy that's gone undefeated. He's won national titles. He's had a bunch of defensive All-Americans. He's been at the school at the FCS level, head coach since 2019. That program is physicality and culture. That's all they do there. That's all they talk about. That is what they preach. So this guy is going to come in. He's going to get our linebackers ready. He's going to get them tough. And another thing, I don't think Coach Lynn and Coach N sign on to this if they don't have full commitment from Lincoln that we're going to tackle and tackle a lot in practice. And I don't mean tackle like wrap up and bring people down like tackling our scout team players. I mean good on good early 2000s style practice. I just can't imagine two guys as successful as them with aspirations as high as them tying themselves to a head coach that didn't give them that guarantee. So I'm thrilled with this. I will be fascinated to see how he recruits. Again, being the North Dakota State head coach, that is a very well-known program in the Midwest, so I assume we're going to be going hard after those guys. And hell, I wouldn't even be mad if we took some transfers from North Dakota State. Those guys are absolute ballers, absolute animals, so I'd be thrilled to have a few of them. Guys, please let me know what you think about this hire down below. Please let me know if you're as excited as I am. What do you think about the future of this USC defense? And any other general thoughts you have, please leave them down below. Guys, if you did enjoy this quick video, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for all your support. You guys are all awesome. And as always, take care and fight on.